ませんとってもごめんなさいね。As you see this big mess behind me, it's ridiculous. So this right here is my mini studio room. There's everything I need to unpack, and it is not pretty. So, man, I don't know. It's fucking hot in here. I'm a little hot, man. But I was just chilling, man. I was like, the cop gonna come up, pull behind me, had the lights and everything. Uh, I ain't getting out of the cop. Yeah, I was like, I'm scared. So then he was like, he was trying to talk to me. Then he started, stop playing, man. They was slanging like, yeah, like that. Did they like grab this? Yeah, yeah. Man, get the hell out of me, man. Hey, I'm gonna get a shirt at. I have to figure it out, but yeah, look at all that stuff, man. It's fucking crazy looking. All these boxes, bro. I gotta get to it, but yeah, I say the next few days I should be done. This is done. I didn't have my stuff for one year. Now I finally got it. So I'm gonna start indulging in more into the channel, indulging in more into my music, indulging in more into my films. Uh, once I start school back up, I'll be doing my studies, but I can do both, so I should be good. Bam! Got my studio chairs. Well, actually, they're barber chairs, but I had these bad boys in, uh, in Zushi Beach. And so they actually do mean a lot to me. I don't plan on giving these up unless somebody offers me a pretty penny. And then I got the HD with the curve. So uh, check it out. Pulled it out of one of the boxes. This is like my main laptop in Japan before I got the uh, Surface Pro. And then I got a, two of them over here. Both my laptops were HPs. There's so much footage on here with the GoPro camera and like me driving the S2000. Just going out partying in Rapungi and Tokyo and stuff. So um, I plan on using both of these and uploading it directly to my hard drive for your guys' viewing pleasure. So it's going to be a lot of reviewing because I know there's hours upon hours of just footage that's on those things. I, I just pulled out of one of the boxes over there. It's a lot of footage. So I can't wait. I just pulled this out. I, I cannot wait to upload this stuff. It's going to be amazing to say the least. Then I found um, my dog's little uh, chew toy, which is awesome. So definitely remember, reminds me of him. Yeah. Okay. Hey. Hey, Robin jeans, with the jeans, pop beat him for my train. Good times. My move is finally complete. I have all my things. Yeah, everything else is all couches, but um, got the slip. Moving in is done, and I've actually been staying here for a year, but I didn't know where I was going to go to school at, what I was going to do. Wasn't sure I was going to be back to Japan, but I made the decision to just stay out here, and this is what it looks like for now until I unpack everything. It's all couches and shit, various items, but let's go inside. I have a lot of things I want to do, but I couldn't have done it because I didn't have my stuff with me. Now that I do, I don't have any more excuses. But, um, yeah, one important thing that the, one of the movers told me, though, which I thought was really cool, is um, cause I, he, he asked me, like, hey, man, what were you doing in Japan? All your paperwork says Japan on there. So we were talking for a little bit. And then uh, he was just like, yo, you know, um, he goes, let me tell you something. And he pulls me off to the side. And um, he was just like, yo, um, I know you're going to school. But let me tell you something, I'm 60 years old. And I was just like, dude, you don't look like you're 60. <laughs> dude didn't look like, he was carrying all these boxes and stuff. He goes, my homeboy's in his 50s. 
and there was another guy outside cutting grass. He was like, that's my other homeboy. That dude's in his 60s too. He said, look, if you don't finish your school and you don't do well in, with your education, he said, guess what you're going to be doing? He goes, you're going to end up just like us. And I'm just like, damn. damn. Like, he's a real humble person, you know, because not a lot of people are going to talk to you like that. See, did you see what Oprah did in 2004 with all them damn cars? All right, open your boxes. Open your boxes. One, two, three. Damn, it's me. But um, some people, uh, when they see an opportunity to mentor somebody, they take advantage of it. So that's something I'm really thankful of is a conversation like that. I really like having those type of conversations because it's just a quick reminder like, yo, oh shit, you know, I should probably focus on like my studies and, you know, I should, you know, just everybody has hurdles in their life. Like, oh, 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 personal issues and whatnot, like everybody has it, right? But just always make sure that you stay focused on your goals and, um, you know, you give it your all. Because if like half the people, I think I'm at like almost 500 subscribers, it's not that big of a deal. Well, to me, it's a big deal. I'm like, fuck yeah. That's a habit. It's not like you got it on my habit. Yeah, steady cause it habit. But it's not a big deal, man. There's people that have like 5 million subscribers, you know? I'm nobody. But um, the fact that I do have some type of a following, that's awesome. So I'm going to take every opportunity that I can to um, help everybody out, you know? I'm, I'm literally talking to one fucking camera right now, but... You know, thousands of people are going to see it. People are going to see it. Speaking of thousands, um, one of my videos, it's, it's breaking like 25,000 views. That's awesome. So that means like my face had been seen by 25,000 people <laughs> for one particular video. But just because that one shot off, all my other videos are shooting off too. So I was like, wow, that's awesome. But um, yeah, man. So I just thought that was really good. Uh, little mentor uh, time that I had with that guy. Um, wish him the best. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start unpacking because, man, I got me a party to unpack. <sighs> man, I need some help, bro. But I gotta do it. Half that stuff is clothes, man. Like, 90% of that shit is all clothes. So I gotta figure it out. I'm thinking about eBay. I'm thinking about Craigslist. And then I'm also thinking about raffling it off. So if I see some good items that I think I could probably raffle off for like subscribers and stuff, I think I might do that. I just might. Did we get too close? Let's have a toast. Let's do the most. Let me be a 